Mr. Francis York Moore, please have some tea while it is hot. Too much coffee for your body will make it rot. You seem well prepared. Almost as though you knew I would be coming today. Mr. Stewart is particular about the best timing for all things. Now please, drink some tea and enjoy the good health it brings. I'm sorry, Harry, but I just don't like tea. Mr. Francis York some tea with sugar is what's best in mind. By your body that looks so tired, so says Mr. Stewart. Harry, where did you get these seeds? Mr. Francis York Morgan, those seeds were found in our town in a certain specific place. More seeds are there than the seed when you find that certain space. Come back to me in a short time, and you'll find that certain place. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, so you like to play games? Mr. Francis York Moore, a hint for you to find this location. It is most cramped and most quiet, and gives a cold sensation. So says Mr. Stewart. All right. So you're not going to talk unless I find this certain place. Zack, let the treasure hunt begin. A crowded place, and yet it is very quiet there. Have you figured it out, Zack? Must be the graveyard. There's lots of people there, but none of them can speak. You see? So let's get going to the graveyard. Zack, we're supposed to play along with Harry's little game, remember? I know. I'm with you on that. I don't like being played with either. But we've got three victims now. We need to prevent that number from becoming four. We got to the CBGB and we were so nervous we couldn't go inside. 
took us 30 minutes to gather enough courage to go inside. Inside. We were shot. Right, Zach? I'll never forget that feeling. It was like a blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg pop. The Ramones. That song still makes me feel good. That's a sign of a classic. But it's amazing I got in without being asked for ID. Those were the good old days. Rock and roll high school and Chinese rock. Sheena is a punk rocker and surfing bird. And I was so depressed when I heard the news of the deaths. Original punk is one of the greatest gifts left from the 20th century. Let's hope they're still rocking on wherever they are. So, Zach. Oh, Zach, we're here. Let's continue our chat later. Just as Harry said, it's crowded and quiet. Hey, Brian. Agent. Mr. Agent, how are you? Oh, uh, not bad. I'm, uh, just playing a little game with Harry. Game? A game? Oh, uh, is that fun? We've only just started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. Is there a tree in the graveyard that drops red seeds? Seeds. Red seeds. That? That tree does. And that one. And that one, too. All red seeds. Yeah. <laughs> 
Just as Harry said, it's crowded and quiet. Hey, Brian. Agent. Mr. Agent, how are you? Oh, uh, not bad. I'm, uh, just playing a little game with Harry. Game? A game? Oh, uh, is that fun? We've only just started, Brian. The fun is about to begin. I'd like to ask you something, actually. Is there a tree in the graveyard that drops red seeds? Seeds? Red seeds? That? That tree does. And that one? And that one, too. All red seeds. accomplished. Let's get back to Harry's. The reward better be good. But you know, about these seeds, they were right here under my nose. It's as if I was carefully carrying a bottle of water while walking in a pool. We're learning the countryside version of common sense the hard way, Zach.
My first impression when we met her on that bridge is slightly different from what I think about her now. Don't you think she's pretty mesmerizing? And Zach, she seemed interested in you. Did you make a move on her? No, don't answer. I'm just asking. But if you like her, I won't stand in your way. But I'd like to hear the truth. Because this kind of stuff could affect our friendship, you know. Me? I'm just interested in her, that's all. It didn't bother anything. From what I can tell, she doesn't even seem to like me. It's pretty clear from how she acts when she's around me. As you know, Zach, I'm cautious with women. It's because I was badly burned in my last relationship. I really have no idea what women are thinking. That's my problem. You're pretty friendly with the ladies, don't you like? Maybe you should teach me about how to interact with women. So feeling a need to protect, that kind of thing. But Zach, who made me feel that back then? Anyways, we're getting closer one step at a time to cracking this case. I have a feeling it's going to get tough.
Zack, we can take a rest if you're tired.
Zack, we're here. Let's continue our chat later. Mr. Francis York Morgan, finally you have arrived. You are welcome to come inside. Mr. Francis York Morgan, please proceed to Mr. Stewart's room. There he awaits you, I shall assume. Mm-hmm. 
Harry, turns out what you said was true, and I'd like to hear more. York, as you know, there's a powerful mystery surrounding these seeds. You've seen them at those other murders that took place elsewhere. And you've seen them deeply involved with the murders in this town. Need to do 
Legend of the Raincoat Killer? Stop playing games with me, Harry. That's nothing more than folklore. The FBI has no such record of a multiple homicide case in this town. York, Anna, Becky, and now Diane. Their deaths are real, not folklore, not legend. records about it, then how do you know it really happened? Good question, York. Why would I know this? The answer is very simple. I was there. I saw it with my own eyes. The brutal killer himself. But we can talk about the details of that encounter another time. We need to talk about is your raincoat killer. The new raincoat killer, if you will. The new raincoat killer. Yes, let's call him that. After all, he's not the real one. What you want to know more about is the new one. Between ten and twenty years ago, I noticed that these red seeds were special, and someone else did too. The human imagination can lead to tragedy sometimes. Someone linked the red seeds to the serial killer legend, and said, if you eat the red seeds and then kill someone, It's worth 
to look. And we may as well let the old man have his fun.